Oh, it's a Monster Power Power Center AV800, the audio video series. Really nice long cord. It's got to be an easy six feet on it. It does not rotate, but it is angled as such. Um, pretty much, it's a basic thing for your TV setup. Circuit breaker on the side. This I got from the old lady along with her TV and her Lazy Boy recliner. It has your cable and video in and out. Whether or not that'll handle digital signals, I have no idea. This was made before then. If you can read the information, there it is there. You can see it has mounting crosses for mounting it up. There's not much to really show but uh, it says accessory one, accessory two, ground okay, protection okay, TV monitor, VCR, DVD, cable or satellite, receiver slash amp, and CD. Looks like it has a lighted power switch. Let's plug it in. Yes, it lights up. I don't know if there's too much daylight. No, you can see it. And the ground okay, as well as the protection on indicators are lit as well kind of dim now why a video on this thing well monster <laughs> i i have a, a monster power strip that is like four feet long and it has a whole bunch more outlets and more stuff on it and stuff i don't know which of these are switched and which are not I honestly don't care either. It's just a power strip circuit breaker on the side in case I didn't mention. does 15 amps. But Monster always had touted themselves to be the best. Now, why the best? Well, yeah, they, they did put quality into this thing. It is certainly a nice surge protector. Real thick cord, nice cord. Everything is here nicely appointed. It's got that weird, like, Sony Vio purple going on, you know. But they touted this as having, like, the best protection you can get against surges and spikes and stuff like that. They touted it as having the best cable protection you can get. Something with the, with the circuit breaker was special. This is probably, was it made in China? Yeah, damn right it was. It's a surge protector. There's nothing special about it absolutely nothing special about this monster used to sell stuff like speaker cables if you have a home stereo system and you were gonna connect your speakers to it you need wire to connect the speakers so they would sell their like really really thick wire with really nice insulation and really nice everything on there and it was all a crock of shit because you only need so thick of a wire going to your speakers. You're not going to quote unquote lose audio quality. I mean, if you're using 22 or 24 gauge wire, uh, yeah, that's not going to work as well as like 16 gauge or, or 14 gauge, which you probably don't even need. I don't even know what gauge that stuff was, but it was really overly thick and overkill for what you needed. So, monster products were overpriced and a bunch of hype and that's all it was in fact that four foot long one that i told you about which i unfortunately can't show you because that is stuck behind my uh entertainment center i won that they had a thing back in the day at the whiz where i used to work where we sold this crap and um they had uh different things what they would do is during the presentation they would hand out playing cards, oversized playing cards, and I'm sorry for the screaming bastard kids outside that they don't fucking watch, but anyways, um, they, they would hand out these oversized playing cards. Um, the way you would get one is by answering questions, and they would give you sort of an open-ended question, you'd have to guess the answer, like, they say that, uh, you know, other companies have good, better, best, but Monster goes, and they would leave it open. And then you'd raise your hand, so I did, and I said, best, better, good, instead of good, better, best. 
So in other words, sell the top end product first. If they don't go for that, then go for the medium grade one. If they don't go for that, maybe you get the lowest grade one. <laughs> but uh, it, you know, it's just a bunch of marketing bullshit. Anyway, I ended up with four of a kind, or actually five of a kind. I had five kings by the end of the whole thing because they had two decks. And uh, they said, you know, the best you could have is uh, four of a kind. I said, well, I got five of a kind. <laughs> so that was the top prize. They gave away some other shit. Probably gave away one of these, I'd guess. But uh, it's nothing more than a plain old surge protector. Yeah, the little Harbor Freight El Cheapo one is not going to afford anywhere near the kind of protection this will. But it's just overpriced hype. But it's just kind of interesting to see how... It doesn't look like there's a date on here. They actually have a toll-free number and a website. So it's got to be after the year 2000 and change, I would expect. There's a date code there, but I can't make out what the hell it is. If anybody knows and or can read it, maybe you can tell me. But yeah, Monster is a load of shit. In fact, one person had said... You know who can hear the difference between regular speaker wire and monster speaker wire? Test equipment. That pretty much summed it up. Anyway, I just wanted to share this with you. It's now in the collection for when I want a better surge protector. Yay. All right. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe. And take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.